Hola, hola, hola. Buenas tardes, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And I'm so excited to be with you all today um, and plan with you all. And I am so excited for this video today. I'm so excited to sit down and plan with you all. I have here what I call my biz babe planner. Um, this is my biz babe planner and I call it that because it is my small business planner, my content creation planner. This is where I plan out everything that I put out on YouTube, everything that I put out on Instagram. It's where I am behind the scenes starting to develop my own stickers and hoping that in maybe a year or two I can start selling my stickers and just sharing my stickers and my art with the world. I'm so excited for this. And I am using a planner from Cafecito Design. I love Cafecito Designs. I love everything they do. I'm Mexicana. I'm Latina. So of course I'm supporting my Latina owned business. I love Cafecito Designs so much because I love their whole aesthetic. It's very sweet and cute, feminine. And I also love how much um, Cafecito Designs brings in their Latina heritage into their products like I got their advent box this past Christmas and I got this sticker storage book Which is super super cute all the pan dulce adorable and then in the advent box um, We got a planner that advent box was amazing. We got so much stuff in the advent box also shout out I know that cafecito designs just put out a subscription box, which I'm definitely signed up for and yeah I just I think their brand is just amazing and beautiful and I love all their things. Anyway, when I saw this planner, I knew I wanted to use it for something and it quickly became my small business planner, my social media planner, my biz babe planner. I think it's perfect for this because it's small. Obviously, I don't have a full-on business, so I don't need a large planner to plan things out. I also wanted to use this planner because it's inspiring to see Linda, the CEO, the owner of Cafecito Designs. It's inspiring to see her journey and see how she created her brand from nothing, from the ground up. It's really inspiring to see another Latina create like a stationery and crafting company and to celebrate her heritage so much in her products. And so I'm going to give you a brief little flip through through my planner and then I'm going to plan out the upcoming week with you all. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep on watching. Okay, I'm so excited to share with you how I set up my Cafecita Designs Biz Bay Planner. First off, um, just here in the opening of the planner, um, there were blank pages and you know me, I want every single square inch in my planner decorated, blinged, glammed out. And I just got the idea of using the journaling cards that often come with her collections. I've collected her journaling cards um, for a while now. I have a couple of them and I never knew what to do with them. I always just had them laying around and I decided to pop them here in the front as a decorative piece. And then I used her washi tapes and all her icon stickers to create this fun collage. So I really like how that turned out. And then on the back here, this was also just a blank page as well. And I used her washi tape, another one of her journaling cards. This is the journaling card that came with the advent box. And then of course I decorated the title page here. I love it so much. And here I actually used um, real Akuma stickers from Daiso as well as stickers from Cafecito Designs so gorgeous there's my name and then we have two blank journaling pages these are the only pages in the planner that are like this just here at the beginning we have just blank pages um she has some designs down here and then it says plan with cafecito i actually didn't know what i was going to do with these pages and so i started slapping down um all of the stickers that i had started to design so Right now, these are all the stickers that I've created, I've designed, and I've printed out. Well, actually, there's one sticker on the next page, I think, that I designed and printed out. 
but so far these are most of them. So we have my lemon stickers. I have a really special place in my heart for these because these are the ones that I first made. These are my first stickers. And then we have the Walk the Pugs sticker, super, super cute. And then I started doing a bunch of trackers like my walking tracker, my Fitbit stat tracker, some hydration trackers. And I've printed out um, several different um, sizes of the same sticker just to remember what I've what sizes I've made. I have my running tracker sticker here and then two of my hiking stickers. Um, I have this sticker in both the small and the big size and then I have one with the brown boot and this one with the lighter colored boot. And then this sticker right here this is actually a design I made a long, long time ago. I drew this honeybee and then I used stickers to add flowers around it. And I had this design for a long time. And actually, Margaret Martinez, who is one of my biggest supporters here on the channel, she actually gave me the idea of printing out this design as a sticker. And so I just want to say, Margaret, thank you so much for that idea. And if you want one of these stickers, please, please send me an email or send me an Instagram DM and I will mail you a couple of these stickers just because um, you gave me the idea of making these stickers. And actually, I've been experimenting with adding the sparkly vinyl on top of the sticker so you can see that um, kind of glitter there. It's really, really cute and lovely and I just love how it turned out. And I can't wait to continue to make these more decorative sparkly stickers. Um, and I just have so many ideas for more of these like sparkly, like purely decorative stickers. But yeah, these are the stickers that I've made so far. So this is the January monthly. Um, this planner comes with blank monthlies. Oh, I should say this is an undated planner. So none of it is dated. I dated everything myself. And this is how I set up my January monthly. And I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to use the monthly. Right now, I'm just keeping track of all of the um, videos I'm publishing on the monthly. I have plans for eventually getting to the point where I plan out an entire month's worth of videos and then I stick to the plan as the month progresses. But right now I'm just keeping track of how many I'm publishing and it's more of like a record keeper than a planner for me at this moment. And then following that monthly, we have some lined pages with some cute designs in the corners. And actually I ran out of room on this, um, on these pages where I'm keeping all of my stickers that I made. I ran out of room, so I printed out this sticker here, also another sparkly sticker. This is also a design I made a long time ago, and I've just been experimenting printing out some of those older designs onto sticker paper and then adding this beautiful like holographic glitter vinyl on top. I'm probably going to be using these pages also for like my own personal sticker gallery. So there's that. And then we get into the weeklies. And again, these are undated pages and they actually look something like that when they're blank. And, oh, and the monthly also looks, let me show you what the monthly looks like when it's blank. So that's what it looks like when it's blank, like these pages and then the weeklies. But um, this is what a weekly looks like when it is completely filled out. And I just want to say that I, I've decided to only use like small business stickers in this planner. I just think it's fun to branch out. I use a lot of happy planner stickers and um, I really want to start supporting smaller shops and just um, experimenting with different brands. And of course, I'm going to be using a lot of Cafecito design stickers in this planner because they match and also because I do have a lot of Cafecito designs stickers and I want to make my way through them. But this is the first week of January and then this is the second week of January. Um, this is when I first made my lemon stickers, so I have those here. And then this was the third week of January. <laughs> this is completely empty. Well, I wrote some here and there, but not really. I'm thinking of going back in and just jotting down ideas and brain dumps, brainstorms, and you know, making use of the space because I have it and might as well use it. And it doesn't matter that you know I'm going back in weeks later and writing down things, especially if they're just ideas. Sometimes I just have like a random idea and I just want to jot it down somewhere. So I'm thinking of using the space as like a brain dump because I don't want to waste the space. 
Anyways, this is the next week. Love how this one turned out. And again, we have some empty spaces here and there. So I'm thinking of using this as a brain dump space. This is another week where I just got completely slammed and I set it up and I didn't use it. And so again, I th I'm thinking of using this as um, a brain dump page. And also I'm thinking of maybe just filling this out as I would fill out like an ideal week and kind of getting a sense of how I want to use these stickers, how I want to set up this planner, because I'm still very much trying to figure out how I want to use this planner. Each week I'm constantly changing how I'm doing things and just trying to figure out what's the best style for me, what's the best layout for me, what's going to work for me. So I'm thinking of going in and practicing with the spread, like creating a dream ideal spread and seeing what it is I like, what it is I don't like. Um, yeah, so that's an idea that I have for this empty spread. And then we have February here. Again, I'm just keeping track of all the videos that I'm publishing. We have the blank um, journaling pages. And then this is the first week of February. This was another week where um, I was just completely slammed with stuff at the beginning of the week. But then I had some time, like closer to the end of the week, and so I started filling things out. But again, thinking of using this space as a brain dump, potentially as another place to um, put some of the stickers that I'm making. So we'll see what happens there. And then this was the past week. I did manage to get into here and figure some things out. But then on the weekend, I actually didn't get around to filling out some of the details there. And, and then this was the week of Valentine's Day. Cafecita Designs actually came out with their Valentine's Day collection. And so I had to use that. And I was actually really into this planner this week. I was very much like in here. And so I'm very happy with how this spread turned out. And this is the current week here. And I actually started already filling things out for this week, um, just adding the date headers. I also added them to this week, and then I also added some things here to the March monthly. Um, I think that's all I've done so far, yeah. But we need to set up this week here. So that's what we're going to do today. And I guess I went with a yellow theme this week. I have some Cafecito Designs of washi here. I have a washi tape cutter from Cafecito Designs. Um, I have my sticker storage book, which has a bunch of stickers, not just Cafecito Designs, but a bunch of stickers. Uh, so I'll be pulling for these. And I also have my trusty pencil case here to the side. So we're all ready to go. And so I'm going to start planning things out and I will walk you through how I set this up and um how i use it first let me lay down some washi tape here oops that was a little crooked i also want to add this washi tape this one's so cute it's like the little taza cevado and it's going to be perfect because we have this taza de varo sticker there at the top honestly i am also not very creative when it comes to this planner it's very functional for me and it's more important for me to have it be functional than creative. Honestly, I just need this to be functional. And I mean, it's enough that we have stickers and washi tape. That's enough to make it cute and creative for me. Um, but besides that, it's very functional. It's very much a lot of boxes, a lot of checklists, a lot of lists, um, brain dumps. And honestly, I don't think you're gonna see a lot of crazy creativity in this planner from me um, because this is very much a functional workhorse for me and I follow a very standard formula when it comes to setting up this planner. Like I always have the sticker here at the top and then I have a habit tracker here. I actually have two, tend to have two habit trackers, one for YouTube, one for Instagram, and I'm trying to post constantly or consistently on YouTube. YouTube and on Instagram. And then I have a list of video ideas that I want to film this week as well as stickers that I want to design. But I think I ran out of habit trackers actually. Let me see. Oh no, here we here we have some habit trackers. So I'll get this pink one. Actually no, I want the brown habit tracker. Let me pull this out. Ooh, I don't think it's gonna fit. Oh well. Okay, there we go. And now we have this pink habit tracker. So I'm thinking of putting this right here. I'll just pop this one right there. Okay, so we have two habit trackers, YouTube and Instagram. So let me write that. And then these are video ideas and sticker ideas. 
I'm thinking of maybe doing like five flags. I only have three flags and then four teardrops here because I ran out of flags and teardrops, but I'm thinking of eventually getting to the point where I have five flags to stand for five videos and then maybe three to four teardrops to stand for sticker designs that I'm going to create. In terms of videos, I'm thinking the Biz Babe flip through. Oops, forgot the E. So Biz Babe flip through, which is this video that I'm filming. So I want to publish this maybe on Wednesday. And then um, the fitness plan with me, which I actually just filmed. It's Monday today and that's going up today. So fitness plan with me, it's going to go on Monday. And then also I'm going to um, publish my big um, happy planner, my flagship uh, plan with me. And I think that's going to go up on Wednesday. I changed my mind. This biz babe flip through is happening Friday also plan with me. So this is going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Saturday is going to be a vlog. Oh, and I want to do a Japanese planner flip through slash plan with me. That's for you, Jess, from Sailorette Plans. Thank you for leaving such a lovely comment on my video and suggesting that I um, flip through my Japanese planner. So I definitely want to do that. So I think those are the videos that you might see from me this week. And then in terms of sticker designs, which I kind of want to draw a line here. These are going to be my sticker designs. The three stickers that I think I'm going to focus on this week is a stretching sticker. Um, I want to do like a like a YouTube, a YouTube sticker. Um, so every time I publish, I can put the sticker like on the monthly. Um, and like here, like every time I publish, I'll put a little YouTube sticker. And then let's see. Oh, I want to do a grocery run sticker. Grocery run sticker. I have a design in mind that I think would be really fun. So those are the three stickers that I'm going to be working on this week. Okay, I feel like this video is going to be really long if I don't like speed things up and then voice over through it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So let's get down to business. Okay, so the very first thing that I like to do when I set up my Cafecito Designs Biz Babe Planner is I like grabbing some half boxes. Sometimes I'll grab quarter boxes or full boxes, but I like grabbing a box sticker and then placing it at the very top of the day. And then I go in with a pen and I think about what it is I want to do during this week. And then I use that box sticker um, to designate what type of day each day is going to be. So whether that's going to be a filming or editing day, whether it's going to be a designing day, whether it's going to be a vlogging day, I'll just go in and decide what day um, each day is going to be. And then if I'm feeling brave, I'll go ahead and decide what time of the day I want to work on content creation and business development and YouTube stuff because it does take a while to do. And so I really want to kind of map out when it is I want to be working on these things. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes the time works out and sometimes it does not. And then following the half box stickers, um, what I like to do next is place down some quarter box stickers and I use these to separate out different types of tasks in a, any given day so for example on monday i designated that day to be a filming and editing day and so for the quarter boxes that i'll place on a monday one will be filming and i'll add a little checklist under filming and then the other box will be editing and i'll add another checklist underneath editing and so that way it helps me kind of partition different types of tasks and helps me organize my thoughts and my ideas and my to do's and it's a really really simple layout and you'll see that here across the days i'm basically basically using the exact same layout of quarter boxes and checklists to kind of divide up different types of tasks and then sometimes on the weekends or on days that i'm doing a lot of content creation i will use much larger tech 
checklists or much longer checklists um, so for example on sunday i used i think a seven bullet checklist whereas on the other days i'm only using three bullet checklists um, just because i tend to work a lot less on the weekdays on youtube and content creation um, as compared to the weekend and at this point i'm just writing down um, my to-dos and kind of trying to organize different tasks for different days because honestly i tend to film a lot on the weekends and then during the weekdays i'm usually really really busy with work and life and i don't have as much time to work on youtube and so it's really really helpful for me to think ahead of what it is exactly i want to do and to map out specific tasks that i can accomplish each weekday and that way i don't have to think about um, what i have to do in order to you know have my plan run smoothly along as the week progresses i can just refer to my planner and you know see immediately that i should um, edit this video um, create this thumbnail post on instagram about this and that way it just helps me stay organized and breaking down the tasks into manageable chunks is super super helpful for me and so i'm just going through my week deciding what it is i need to do and then um, another thing that i'm doing here is um, just writing down what videos i want to film on the weekend because the weekends are usually when i film most of my videos and then i'm just laying down some washi tape stickers with the taza de barro and then some conchita stickers and then i'm just using these empty spaces at the bottom of the pages just for brain dump sections. I like um, kind of jotting down ideas I have for sticker designs or for other video ideas or any other you know business related or content creation related um, ideas. I like just jotting down um, in the free spaces that I have in my spread. And that is pretty much how I set up my BizBabe planner. Okay, I hope I wasn't too out of frame this entire time, but this is pretty much um, a very standard spread for me in this planner. It's very functional. It's kind of repetitive as you can see, but what I'm basically trying to do is make it really simple for me to know what's coming and what I need to accomplish on any given day. Maybe once I get more settled into this planner and I get into a routine and a rhythm, I can start experimenting with different styles and different formats. But right now, I kind of want it to be pretty simple just so that it's really easy for me to understand what's going on. And I think it still looks cute. Anyway, thank you so much for spending so much time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.